I was talking with Martha via email this week and she was mentally struggling quite a bit because she noticed that when she goes out for her typical run, her easy runs are both slower and at a higher heart rate. She wanted to know why that would be happening. When you're out exercising, you've got to recognize that the number one goal of the body is to not die of a heat stroke. When we're outdoors, in fact, it doesn't matter if we're indoors or outdoors for that matter, the number one goal of the body is to never freeze to death nor die of a heat stroke. So when we look at things like getting out and exercising, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how we look at it, our body is always going to focus on getting the water to the skin to try to wick away that internal heat that's officially known as the exothermic process. So when you recognize that the body is made up predominantly of water, the brain, the muscles, the bones, look at the blood itself. So if you can look at the screen here, let's assume that that's the size of your cell membrane. Well, as that cell membrane becomes dehydrated, literally the size of the cell diminishes. And because your oxygen is being carried in the red blood cells, the bigger the surface area, the more oxygen you can carry. But here's where the frustration came in. She knows that she can normally run. She's a marathon runner, very accomplished. She knows that she can run a 10, min, a 10 mile run at a seven minute pace at, I don't mind telling you, the heart rate's 145 to around 149 to 150. Very comfortable for her. Please don't get hung up on the pace nor the heart rate number. I'm just sharing with you. What she did notice was now the pace is both slower and at a higher heart rate. Well, the frustrating or frust maybe it's not so frustrating if you're watching this video before you experience what she did. If you notice that your pace is slower at a higher heart rate, you already know that you've got a situation associated with dehydration. Now, if you weigh yourself in the morning and the evening and you know what your sweat rate is, given the duration and the intensity and the, and the temperature, you can offset this on a daily basis. But we don't live in a glass house. Sometimes th things sneak up on us. But I thought it was very, very cool that she was able to catch it as quickly as she did. It was only her fourth run and she knew something wasn't right. First one, she kind of tri contributed to just being an anomaly. The second one, it was a little bit hotter than usual. But in this case, once we finally got to the bottom of it, we started to notice that her evening weight was not as high as it should be. By the way, at night, you want your body weight to always be three to five pounds heavier than you are in the morning. That's a sure sign that you're hydrated. We also want to look and make sure that we don't have a sweat rate that surpasses 2%. If you've lost more than 2% during your workout or your race, then you're officially dehydrated. If you wait till you're thirsty, it's, it's way too late, to be honest with you. But... Let's go back to the original frustration. Slower at a higher heart rate, you need to recognize that the percentage of oxygen that's being carried in the blood is going to be diminished because the cell membrane is becoming smaller. The oxygen, oxygen demands, because remember it's a familiar run, the oxygen demands are no different. You're running a certain pace, a course that you're familiar with, but yet you're at a higher heart rate. Big red flag for you. Hopefully you can learn from this video before you go out and experience the same frustrations. I want to say thank you for all the questions that have continued to come in. The numbers continue to escalate every week, and we really enjoy this. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, turn on the notifications, because we're answering a question every day, and I want you to send in any question, frustration, or anything you want clarified as well, and you can do so by sending it to contact at coachrob.com. We're dropping a new video every morning, and we hope to see you again tomorrow.